In this video, we're going to look at running the call sheet, the attendance call sheet from daily office for kid check purposes in a K-6 to AM PM school. So I'm in my de-identified database. I've entered some attendance from the office, which you can see that has absence and excuse. Uh, one of my teachers has entered attendance, which is coming up here. Um, as absences. They're entering in class attendance, but it does transfer over to the AM code. Again, I am using the twice daily attendance field so I can see the PM code. These ones I've entered and I've said they were full day absences. Important part here is that excused. That's going to help me when I run the call sheet so to make sure that I know I don't need to phone uh, these students. So a couple things you want to do before you run kid check is check and see if all of your teachers have posted. Since the teachers are posting through class, you should go to class office reports, class attendance post verification. And here you need to select the period. We're only interested in AM for kid check. Okay. Show non posts only will show you if it's checked, only the people that haven't posted. If it's unchecked, it will show you everyone when they posted or if they haven't. So I'm going to run that going to see that only one of my teachers is posted. And that's my teacher I've been working with. Everybody else hasn't. Let's just say everybody has posted for the sake of this. Go back to my daily office. My time has uh, come up as to when I start doing the kid check procedure. And that's why I ran that report to make sure everybody's entered. Go back to daily office, reports, attendance call sheet. Run the report right off the bat, and sort as well. This gives me a report which is a little light on the information, but this will be the starting point for how we start making our phone calls. Um, print this off, or whether you keep it on a second monitor or just keep it in the background, however you want to, you choose to do this. But looking at this, I know that I need to make some phone calls based on the kids that were absent and not excused. I won't need to make these phone calls because I've already received a phone call from the parent. These are ones the teachers have entered with you know, no reason. Um, the re the te teacher is, uh, needs to share the reasons back to the office if there is any, so that they would already be entered as absent excused. So these absents are the ones I'm going to be using for my kid check phone calls. Now since that uh, call sheet only has information on the, the first contact, it, it's not quite enough for some of our schools that make phone calls to multiple phone con contacts or decide to use cell phones as well. So one way that you could do this is with that call sheet, you can identify the people that you need to phone, go into the student top tab and do a search going down that and check the contacts for each one. So Eileen was one of the ones that I need to call. I can check off Eileen, go to contacts, and I have the contacts for Eileen. Now it takes a little bit to work through this to figure out who you would want to phone, but you can also change the field set here to make this a little bit easier. And by field set, I think I was referring to in the student view. So I just jumped over through video magic. Let me just take you back to where I was. Under contacts here, there's a possibility to change this field set. But what I was thinking of was the field set in the student list. I've made a, um, <clears throat> a field set in here called kid check. And this would be one that I would share uh, throughout the district or show people how to use it at the very, uh, create one at the very least. So I've changed the field set so I have the students, I have their alerts, gender, custody, first contact name, relationship, phone, home phone, cell phone, and so on. So this would make it a little bit easier to check because you can check off who you're trying to phone and work your way through. First contact would be labeled one, how we've set it up with one and two being our custodial parents or guardians, three, four, five, six, and so on, being emergency contacts. Depends on your school, how you guys do kid check. Uh, so do check with your administration as to how they would like it done. 
So there's a couple different ways is you can uh, go into the student, look at the contacts, work your way through there, or just in the student list, you can create a new field set. Kid check. Maybe I'll create one of those for everyone. Um, and make your life a little bit easier. If your list is short, you could do um, a select and show selected here. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. Um, if I were to come in looking at that list, the call sheet, I can just type in everybody's last name, hit enter. Assuming there's only single last names with these, you just have to check as you're entering them. But they're the right ones if they get checked off. So my great big list of four is there. I'd go to options, show selected. Now I'm only working with the four students that have an unexcused absence. I'm going to quickly double check. This only says there is an absence. doesn't mean that it's unexcused for one or more periods today. But I make sure that there is something there. And I can work my, my way through. Unfortunately, the database contacts in the de-identified database are not very complete. Hopefully yours are. So that's a look at doing kid check and how to use the student top tab and a new field set to make it easier to make phone calls.